Hello there peoples of the internet, it is your boy as always, it's Hulk Geek Guy, back at it again with another video. And today I do have a very special unboxing today. This is the 5 pack Hot Wheels Premium. Uh, I'm not going to say what because I want you to guess. But really quick, can y'all guess what it is? Can y'all guess what it is? It is, a, it is a Hot Wheels Premium 5 pack as shown right there. So um, can y'all guess what it is? I'll give you about 5 seconds. Did you guess it? Did you guess? No? Alright, it's fine. Um, but yeah, this was a steal, not gonna lie. They did have three of them at the store. And the store I went to was Ross. So you know they have discounted prices. And I want y'all to guess the original price and the price that it, it was at Ross. Can y'all guess the original price really quick? Can y'all guess? Can y'all guess? I'll give it a couple of seconds for that. Can y'all guess? You have your answer? You have your answer? Pause it if you need to. Um, now, can y'all guess the price it was for us? I'll show it. I'll show it in a little bit. But can y'all guess? Can y'all guess? I give it a little time for that. Can y'all guess? No. Anyways, um, I had to fish it out of the trash can because I took it off. But um, original price was focus camera thirty eight dollars. Ross sold it for nine or ten dollars. So that was a steal, and they had three of them just sitting there. So I was like, okay, bet might as well get a, grab a couple of these. Well, um, I grabbed one, but my friend got one. And so did my other friend. A shout out to my homeboy who got this for me. Because uh, I wasn't really good on money. But, um, can I, did y'all guess which five pack it is? Oh, yeah. Exotic Envy five pack. I do like the packaging. I'm probably going to be keeping this packaging because it is a shipping container. And I do like it. And then this is my first five pack for premium. Hot Wheels Premium right there. Exotic Envy. Um, the camera's not really wanting to focus today. It's kind of weird. You have car culture, slap bang in the center right there. The shipping container. You have car culture on this side. The tape wasn't, it's not really taped on, but it's whatever. Now, let's flip it over. Oh, yes. Alfa Romeo, McLaren, Koenigsegg, Bugatti, and Lamborghini. With the exotic NV5 pack. So, let's go ahead and get this open. It is. Not too complicated to open. Take this off, and it is ripped. So, oh yes, oh yes. Okay, pull this off to the side. The shipping container. Oh yes, exotic envy car culture. I do like how they have the shipping container number right there. Exotic Envy Hot Wheels car coach. I do like the detail on this shipping container. It does look like an actual shipping container, which is actually really cool. I wasn't really expecting it. But yeah, it does look, look, it does look like an actual shipping container. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and crack it open. So, this first line. Oh, sorry, that was loud. Uh, oh, wow. These look really cool in the whole... Oh, I've never owned these at all. Like any, well, I've owned this one and this one as like standard but not premium and I've, had, and I've heard a lot of good things about this too so let's go ahead get it out I don't know how because the plastic is underneath the lip right there so I might need to take it out like this Does that work? yeah you see because of plastic I want to get the camera to focus on that the plastic right there is it's not going to go in fact, I, can't, I can't pull it out because of the the um, what's whatever it's called, I forgot the door, I guess. And I don't want to, I know it does a notch right there, but I don't want to risk breaking the, the actual box. So I'm just gonna try and do something like this. See if that'll work. Nope, it's not working. Let's try this side. I might end up pausing it. So can, oh, wait, that, that'll work. Nope, that works. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Off to the side, close the shipping container, put it off. Oh, yes, it looked beautiful, absolutely glorious in this box. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of, um, what was it like expecting the cars to be like vertically, not in a angle. Well, it is so cool. All right, we're gonna take a look, quick look at these. All right, oh, the Alpha, well, uh, Alpha Romeo 69 Stradel beautifully beautifully designed car 
And I've had, I have I have heard that this is one of the most beautiful cars from the 19 from 1960s. This is a really beautiful spec on this car. The engine back there, beautifully done by Hot Wheels. I love it. It's beautiful, beautiful. Have some sponsors right there, Alfa Romeo 33. I do like the wheels. The wheels are done very nicely. Really beautiful car. Really beautiful. And now we're taking a look at the speed tail. Oh, this one is nice. I like how they did printed the headlights on it too. See the McLaren logo? One of my favorite car brands. Oops, I don't know. Came off from the bottom I assume, but I will keep focus camera focus on the car. Thank you. And they come off on the um, the bottom, but it's okay. McLaren Speed Tail. This is one. This is their fastest production car. When you adjust the lighting, really quick. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, this should be a little better. Yeah, Speed Tail printed on the back. McLaren. Nice rolling wheels. This is a very, very beautiful car. I love it. Beautifully done. I love the shaping of this car. Next, we have the Koenigsegg, or Koenigsegg, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. Koenigsegg Agera R. Beautiful, beautiful red. I love red. Red is my favorite color. Are the wheels really that big in real life? Are they? I've never seen a Koenigsegg. But, oh, that does look vicious. This car has broken a lot of records. Oh, I like how it's like carbon fiber at the bottom. That's kind of cool. Koenigsegg Gear R. NFS. Need for Speed. Moving. Beautiful, beautiful car. I love it. I love the attention to detail in the headlights. It's everywhere. It's nice. The wing is a... Uh, Plastic, it is not metal, but the color matching is actually pretty good. It's not horrible. I've seen worse. Trust me, I have. I like how you have the printed Agera right there. Let's see if the camera focus on that. There you go. Agera R on the sides, looking good. Beautiful, beautiful. Wheels zero spin freely. Next, we have the Bugatti EB110. Beautiful car as well. One of the best cars. But sadly, not very many of these were purchased because of the stock market. So I believe this is when this is when the car was released. Well, that was when the car was released, along with the Jaguar XJ. The Bugatti logo right there. And the turn signals, the trans clearance, plastic for the headlights, the grill there, then in black. Nice rim. Oh, right there. Both sides. You have EB. Have the EB right there, EB 110 SS Super Sport. Then you have EB 110 back there as well, SS. Beautifully done. Looks like I have some paint. Yep, mine came marked. See that right there? Came a little marked, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's alright. Will wheels do spin freely? Beautiful, beautiful. I love the blue, it's a nice blue. I believe that's uh, like, if you were to get a Bugatti, then that would be like a, the, the Bugatti blue that they have. Oh, and last, but certainly not least, oh baby, the Lamborghini Essenza. I believe, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Oh, look at this. Look at that green, that is gorgeous. A nice metallic green, the 63 right there. The attention to detail on these cars is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 63 Lamborghini logo right there. Let's see the wing right there. And this is metal, unlike the other one, the Connexec one. But it does look really, really cool. 
Very, very aerodynamic with this car. Very cool. I love this. And like I said, this was a steel. Little loose. It's a little loose. But it's okay. It's okay. But like, well, anyways, this this was a steal. Ten dollars for all of this. Ten dollars. You can't even see the cars. Oh, look below the camera a little bit. Look down. Uh, I'll move this out of the way because we're pretty sure we won't need it for the rest of the video. But ten dollars for all of this is just—it's—it's a steal, honestly. Beautifully, beautifully designed cars. It's beautiful cars all around. Beautiful. I'm very happy I got this. I kind of lie. And like I said, they did have three. So, I mean, it was kind of a steal. It was a steal. I'll put this over here. Car culture exotic envy. There you go. I will put the conic zig in the middle. Actually, we'll put the two classics together. Just like that. We're gonna move the camera a little bit so I can just. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful. Just look at that. I mean, look at them together. That is just one heck of a five pack that Hot Wheels released. I'm very glad I was able to get my hands on this because I've been wanting these for a while, especially the especially the Conics Egg and the uh, Essenza. And like I said, ten dollars. I mean, that's a steal right there. That is a honest steal. But yeah, I mean, this was a good find. Like I said, I found that at Ross. Go to your local Ross. I mean, they have stuff cheap over there. I can't believe these are just sitting on the shelves. Very, very, very cool. Very cool. I like and this is a good this is a good find this was a really good find they have like little notches right here so yeah you can stack them so if I guess if you get more then you can suck them on top of each other that's cool I would love to get more of these the five the five packs like I mean, this is like almost I don't know how much in other places but ten dollars was a steal in my it's, it's a steal in anyone's opinion it was really cool to find these there I'm surprised no one else picked them up. But yeah, I mean, that's basically it. So, uh, there is the, um, hold on really quick. Let's get this right there. The, um, oops, they too far up. There is the Exotic Envy Car Culture Howells Premium 5 pack. A very cool pack. Um, in total, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Um, honestly, I would give it a 10 out of 10. There's always that one car that, I mean, everyone just leaves on the shelves and I would assume it would be the Alpha, the Stradale. But after owning it, it's not a bad collector's item. It really isn't. It really, it really is a really good car. And I would assume most people would go for the Koenigsegg or the Lamborghini right here. Possibly the Speedtail. Um, like I said, these the Bugatti and the Speedtail were the only ones that I have as standard, not as premium. But the rest of these, I, didn't, I never even had them. Yes, I do. Of course, that's why it's uneven. Um, I never had any of the other ones, so this was a really good find. And yeah, well worth the $10. So yeah. Um, I do get, I did get some other stuff for my birthday. This was like, like a birthday gift um, in a way. So... I do have some other stuff that's car related so if y'all want to see that please let me know and uh, yeah i mean i'll definitely get to it i don't mind doing it obviously i did get a transformer um but i will save that for a review i will do a poll on which of who of what to review first the the fallen or the transformer that i got for my birthday but yeah that's basically it so um subscribe if you haven't already and turn on those notifications so you can stay tuned on what's to come and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out stay safe and remember if you're not if you're not going if you're not scared you're not going fast enough take care i'll catch y'all in the next one